Okay, I've been talking about doing this freaking review for this Sigma 24-70 f2.8 on my Sony a7R 4 So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up here in this little patch of grass sort of a makeshift outdoor studio and I'm going to measure off a certain amount of feet away so that you know exactly how far away I am from where I'm going to be shooting and then and then I'll be shooting and I'll do it at uh, at the various marks that are on the lens. So at 24, 35, 50 and then 70 so that you can see what goes in the frame. As always, I'm going to use my lovely assistant doink here and then I'm going to measure off. So here we have the view from behind doink. So I have that set up. My tripod is set up so that the camera is at the 25 foot mark. So here's doink. And now we're going to come back and you can see here that the camera basically is at the 25 foot mark. All right, so I have the camera set f2.8, 1 2500th of a second on sunny auto white balance, or sunny white balance, not auto, ISO 100. Now, the first shot we're going to take is at 24 millimeters. And now we're going to move into 35. And then we're going to move into 50. And now 70. And that's it. So now you can see all the different lengths that are ticked off. And of course, you know, these are your more popular focal lengths to be at. 70, because that's as far as you can go. 50, very popular. 35 is a new favorite. And since they just came out with the 35 1.4 G Master lens, everybody's shooting in 35 now. And then of course, 24. So you get as much in the frame as possible, which also is just slightly tight for vlogging, but it's doable. Oh shit, you know what? I just realized that I had it on uh, APS-C mode. Okay, let's do that over. I just did the entire test, forgetting that I had the camera set to APS-C mode. So we're gonna start over, now we're in full frame mode. Now, I'm at F2.8, 1 2,000th, ISO 100, sun white balance for, you know, sunny day. And I am now at 24 millimeters, actual 24 millimeters, in full frame mode. So this is the full 60 something megapixels. All right, and here we go. All right, so that's 24. This is 35. This is 50. And this is 70. So here, now you get to see, I mean, since I did it, since I'm a dummy and I forgot to reset it, you can see it at both full frame and in APS-C mode. And since you get a full 24 megapixels on APS-C mode, sometimes you want that little bit extra reach. So remember, at APS-C mode, it is at a 1.5 crop factor. So you're not using the full frame, you, you know, it goes up 1.5. Do your math from there, 24 times 1.5 all the way through 70 times 1.5. Then you can figure out where the focal lengths actually were for that. Either way, this is a fantastic lens. All right, now I'll get into the little particulars here. So on this Sony a7R4, here it is all the way extended at 70, and then of course, all the way in. And then it's got this little lock under here to keep it from creeping. But the thing is, is that it's, it's not like on the 100 to 400 where it like doesn't move when you try to move it. This just keeps it from creeping, but all you have to do is just twist it a little bit and it comes loose. So it isn't a, a total lock, but again, it's just to keep it from creeping. And you know, the standard stuff, here's your lock, your AFL button or programmable button and your autofocus, manual focus switch. The hood stays on. You actually have to push this button to get it to come off. And then once you get it in there, it doesn't come off and it has a 82 millimeter filter, which is pretty big. I mean, it's not 95 or 105, but that's still pretty big. Most of them usually only go up to like 72 or 77. So the fact that it's 82, keep that in mind when you're buying filters, because those filters are just a tad bit more expensive. So yeah, the 24 to 70 f2.8 
uh, Sigma lens here is a fantastic lens. And people complain about weight and all that stuff. I don't really give a shit about that. I prefer having a bigger camera, prefer the weight and all that kind of stuff. And because this A7R4 is the beefier camera and it has a bigger grip and all that stuff, ergonomically, it feels fantastic. So having this lens on here with the weight on it, you know, I have this, the 100 to 400, and an 85 1.4, all Sigma lenses. And they're all not small. They're all not light and they feel great. I have carried them all in various things that you've seen in my videos. And I don't think any of the weights are oppressive to carry for any length of time. My problem is that I always carry too much other shit with me. And that's why I have problems where my back hurts and my neck hurts because I've got all these straps coming across me with heavy shit. But this is perfect. And this, since I got it, has lived on the camera unless I'm specifically doing something. So like yesterday, when I was specifically wanting to shoot the 100 to 400 in APS-C mode, that lens was on there. And if I'm going to be taking pictures where I want that super depth of field, then the 85 goes on there. And, you know, if I ever start shooting human models again, it'll probably be the 85. Uh, but for a walk around lens, everyday workhorse, keep it on the camera all the time. The Sigma 24 to 70 F 2.8 is fantastic. So that's it. I don't really need to go over any more specs and all that kind of stuff because these lenses have been out for a while. The camera's been out for a while. Everything's been out for long enough that if you need to look up something like that, just go watch Gerald Dunn or somebody like that to get the super specs. I just wanted to show you how it's on the camera, how it works, and what it looks like at each focal length. And because I goofed up and put it in APS-C mode, or left it in that in the first place, you get to see it in that and in full frame mode. But bottom line, fantastic lens. I am totally, totally sold on Sigma lenses now for my Sony stuff. And in fact, I don't really even feel the need to buy any Sony lenses because everything works great on these. The autofocus is fast. It works great with eye autofocus in, well, I don't shoot video on this camera, so I can't speak to the video. But as far as taking pictures, any of the lenses have very responsive and fast autofocus. It, when it locks on, it locks on. Eye autofocus works great on these in both human and animal mode. And all in all, total winner. So no point in kicking a dead horse here or belaboring the point like I usually do. The Sony a7R4 using the Sigma 24-70 f2.8 art lens. Fantastic combination. You won't regret it. I highly recommend this lens and every other lens that I've got from Sigma, but since this one's about the 24-70, I'm all about it. Get it. You won't regret it. It's a great price and it's a fantastic quality product. So thanks Sigma. And that's all I got for today. So, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, and all that shit. And remember, kids, forward and up.